Hey crafters, I'm Daniela with DT's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. For today's DIY, we will be making a Jack and Sally clothespin wreath. I really love the art, the pop, and the color to these characters. I was originally only going to do Sally, but I decided to incorporate Jack as well. After seeing several Jack clothespin wreaths, I'm really excited to share mine. And if you haven't already noticed, in honor of today's DIY, I decided to do a Sally-inspired makeup look. Anyways guys, let's jump right in and let's get crafty! As always, I will list materials used, paints, and links in the description below. We will be using a Dollar Tree pizza pan and paints I purchased at Michael's, except for the black paint which I bought at Dollar Tree. I have already drawn my Jack and Sally on my pizza pan with a permanent marker, so now we will be painting with our acrylic paints. I'm painting Sally in a French blue acrylic paint in folk art. I chose this apple red to paint Sally's hair and lips. I really liked this color because it's so bright and it pops. I'm painting her eyes in white acrylic paint and I will be giving a second coat to her face. And the awesome part is that I can still see the permanent marker through the paint, so I can later go over the outlines. Now I'm going to mix the colors Night Sky and French Blue Acrylic Paint to add some shadows to Sally. I have this holiday red acrylic paint and I will add a little bit of shadow to Sally's hair. I should have darkened this red a bit because once it dried, I couldn't really see the shadows pop too much. Oh yeah, and in between coats, I like to blow dry my work to speed up the process. Okay, now we can paint Sally's other half Jack. And for Jack, I decided to use white and parchment acrylic paints. This black paint I actually purchased at Dollar Tree and I really love the coverage. I will be filling the pizza pan edges with some black acrylic paint. Now for my favorite part, the outlining. I'm using a black paint marker for this part because I really love the finish it gives and it's easier to handle when doing a painting like this. It also gives it a cleaner look depending on the art you're creating. And you can find this marker at Michael's or any craft store.
We are ready to move on to our clothespins and for this project I used 92 which was 3 packets at Dollar Tree. We will paint 33 in black. You can spray paint these but I didn't have any black spray paint so I just used my acrylic paint. And as you can see, I'm using a little metal basket to hold my pins to dry. I held the tip of my pins and I painted everything else. Then I clipped to the basket and finished painting the top where I was holding with my fingers. Thanks to the magic of recording and editing, I have now finished my pins. I painted 12 in yellow or medium yellow, 12 in teal or patina, and 12 in dark pink or reminisce. I'm painting designs on my pins like Sally's patches and on the dark pink pins, I'm drawing simple swirls with my paint marker. On my yellow pins, I'm painting six with dots. On the other six yellow pins, I am drawing some lines that don't have to be perfect. This is to match Sally's patches. For our teal pins, I'm drawing some larger dots with some lines running across, also similar to Sally's patches. We are now ready to add our awesome clothespins. I have already clipped on 23 pins in black and white to the pizza pan, 12 in white and 11 in black. I'm not gluing mine down because I feel them pretty secure, but you can always hot glue them down if you feel you need to. This is a larger project so I like to seal my work for extra protection and so it's longer lasting. With a ruler, I'm measuring the center of the wreath and I'm gluing some twine down with my hot glue gun so I can hang my wreath. This artsy wreath reminded me about love, like 1 Corinthians 13.13 13 says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Remember to spread love and kindness in all you do today. Stay crafty!